we next we invite Professor Lei Ziqiao and Nie Zhuang from the Union Hospital of Tongji Medical College, Huazhong University of Science and Technology. Professor Lei Ziqiao is member of CSIT and vice president of our CT Image Technology Committee. He also is the president of Wuhan Society of Radiologic Technology. The topic of this speech is infection prevention and control of CT examination in makeshift hospital against COVID-19. Hello, today we are going to introduce the experience of uh, infection prevention control of a CT examination in the makeshift hospital from Wuhan against COVID-19. My name is Nie Zhuang and uh, this presentation is directed by Professor Nei Ziqiao. We are from Union Hospital, Huazong University of Science and Technology. The contents will include four parts. In the first part, we we'll have a brief introduction of the background of building makeshift hospital, and then we'll talk about the basic conditions need to be considered for building makeshift hospital. The third part is the, the CT workflow in makeshift hospital, and finally, but also the most important part is the infection prevention control for CT in the makeshift hospital. Let's begin with the background of building makeshift hospital. Since the first introduce of the novel coronavirus in the December 2019, uh, this virus spread very fast in Wuhan and the confirmed cases are increased every day and uh, it soon become a public healthcare emergency and the uh, confirmed patient number is very huge. Many hospital is full of patients. As we know for this infectious disease, crowd is very dangerous. It will promote the spread of the virus among patients. And the isolation is an effective way to cut off the spread of the virus. So isolation and tiny treatment is very important. However, with the huge number of patients, the medical treatment capability is not enough in Wuhan. So uh, the makeshift hospitals is being built to contain this epidemic. And the figure below is the first uh, hos makeshift hospital of Wuhan. It is called Jianghan Makeshift Hospital. So in Wuhan, the basic background for building makeshift hospital is that faced with the rising number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 across the country, normal medical institutions are unbearable and uh, timely treatment is very important. So in order to effectively stop the spread of this epidemic, and uh, realize early detection, early reporting, early isolation, early diagnosis, and early treatment. The makeshift hospital is being, being built to accommodate more patients. So what is makeshift hospital? Uh, it is similar to the field mobile hospital. It relies on a set of equipment to ensure the task of patient treatment. It's not only equipment, the disinfection facilities, storage of medicines, but also has power supply and can carry out clinical diagnosis 
treatment as well as various clinical examinations. Mm. On the evening of February 3rd, 2020, in Wuhan, learned from the novel coronavirus Lumina Infection Prevention and Control Headquarters, makeshift hospital were planned to be built in three districts in Wuhan, and among them, Wuhan International Convention and Exhibition Center will be transferred into a into the first makeshift hospital with more than 1,600 beds. And the World uh, Makeshift Hospital has installed CT scanner. We create a temporary CT room. Uh, because CT has a very high sensitivity for diagnosis of COVID-19, several studies have been published in the very famous uh, journal to uh, show the evidence of CT for the early diagnosis of the COVID-19 as well as CT plays an important role for the evaluation of the treatment response of the patient with COVID-19 during treatment process. With the outbreak of the epidemic in Wuhan, the makeshift hospital can timely treat the large number of confirmed patients and reduce the flow of uh, infection sources, which is, is an important measure in epidemic prevention and control. And the CT provides an important imaging evidence for the detection, development, and treatment outcome of the disease. The, the Deployment of CT in makeshift hospital is an effective strategy for early stage diagnosis and treatment. It is also should establish a standardized infection prevention and control strategies for the CT examination for COVID-19 patients in makeshift hospital to avoid cross-infection. Next, let's begin to talk about the conditions need to be considered for building temporary city room in makeshift hospital. This is the most important factors need to be considered for building temporary city in the makeshift hospital. First is to choose a proper CT scanner. So it is about the scanner specification needs to be considered. The second is protection. The CT room design should take radiation safety on the considerations. And also infection protection is also need to be considered. The third is location. So the seat room should have a safe distance from the active area of the patient. The last one is the safe zone. So the mm, seat room should have safe area for the medical staff and uh, to keep away to be or to be separated from the contaminated area to avoid cross infection. Since the main job for the CT scanner in the makeshift hospital is for chest scanning, so the requirement is not very high. First, the detect wise should not less than 2 cm and the actual thermal capacity of the tube anode should not less than 3.5 trillion and uh, we prefer 32 rows CT scanner or the above. Uh, the last but uh, the most important is the CT scanner should have isolated operation room to keep the safe area of the technologist. 
and uh, it will be very good to have a remote control system which is also helpful for the infection control and the prevention well a large observe window is also uh, preferred for the CT scanner because uh, do, with this uh, large window the technologist can clearly observe the patient during the examination and this is a very important uh, part of the clinical work here's the picture of the CD scanner we used in the Johan makeshift hospital it is provided by United Image from China uh, the CT scanner prefers very well during the clinic work this temporary city from United Imaging has a very large scan room. It's about uh, more than 20 square meters. It has a large door, which means that the stretcher bed or wheelchair can enter the scanning room. This is very important for the earless patient, who is not able to be moved freely. And also, the huge space makes it possible to place other disinfection or medical facilities. Besides, the operation room is also uh, very big and it has many different devices such as the workstation, resistant, and uh, it uh, can have medical doctors work at the same time. So make the clinical work very efficient. As we know that city is imaged by X-ray, so radiation protection is very important. The temporary city from United Imaging is designed with the integrated protective CT room scheme and they also have proposed a patent for this design. And uh, this protective scheme has passed the test from assertive third party and uh, all the pro radiation protection standards has above the standard of the state FDA. City room infection prevention is another important part need to be considered and the United Imaging has also designed very well in this part they have an isolation door equipped in the city room to separate the scanning room and the operation room and each room has independent entrance to avoid the contact between the patient and the technologist and the, the city also have separate air conditions in the scan room and operation room and there's also ultraviolet disinfection app in the scanning room another important feature of the temper city from united imaging is that it is equipped with the ai navigated system which realizes remote automated control. It is a powerful tool for optimizing the clinical workflow. With the AI navigated system, the CT scanner has a, a, a AI camera. It can real-time tracking and the position of the patient. Uh, with the AI camera, the position can be precise and automatic. This can help the technologies to avoid direct contact with the patient. Here is the AI camera of the CT scanner. It can help the technologies to automatically position the patient for the examination. The location of city room in the makeshift hospital should choose an outdoor square as shown in the imaging above. 
The location could be near the long residential area because this is easy to divide the isolation area of a patient and it is preferred to design a separate channels for the patient and the medical staff. This picture is the building skin of the city room in Zhanghan Makeshift Hospital. It includes the city room and the related area. It also set up contaminated area and semi-contaminated areas to limit the area the patient can access freely. And this contaminated area is shown as red or yellow. And uh, it also has the same zone for the medical staff, which is showed in green color. The third part is the city workflow in makeshift hospital. As the preparation time of Jiang Han makeshift hospital is short, so many work is not done very well. As we don't have a perfect network configuration, and our city room is not equipped with registration and the diagnosis office, so the situation is totally different from traditional hospital radiology department. Besides, the patient number in the Jiang Han makeshift hospital is more than 1,000. So every day's non-city examination task was arduous. So faced with all these challenges, the CT examination process needed to be optimized and standardized. And uh, here is the, our workflow in the Zhanghai Makeshift Hospital. First, we use paperless process. We establish a CT working group composed of clinic doctors radiologist, technologist, and the medical staff for registration. So every day, the clinic doctor will put forward the DAMS examination lists and the patient information and summarize them into an Excel, send the information to the working group. And the medical staff in the radiology department will use this information to register or schedule examination for the patient. And they feed back all this examination information to the clinical doctors. And these doctors will help the patient to get the exam properly on time. The priority examination is also be considered for patient with uh, special conditions such as the review of RCT elective patients to determine whether they meet the conditions for discharge or patient's condition suddenly worsens, the clinical doctor can apply for an emergency examination in the working group. And we have uh, these infections several times every day and uh, at any time in case of pollution. And we use disposable sheet to isolate patients and related equipment for every examination. And the, the radiologist is work in the uh, safe zone to do remote diagnosis as we don't have the diagnosis office. Filming is performed remote as well. But for some special situations, the filming can be performed in the local. And if there are multiple CT scanners, the general follow-up and the discharge patient can be assigned to the designated scanner for the examination. This diagram shows the CT diagnosis workflow. It has been divided into three levels. The first level is Jianghan makeshift hospital and the patient get exam here. After the examination, the imaging will be transferred into Wuhan Union Hospital. And here the AI system will do screaming and grading for the images 
and experienced radiologist will review the result. And normally, it will take only 30 minutes to have the final report, and we'll send back the report to have the clinical doctor to make the decisions whether the doctor, whether the patient is suspected or normal, so they can go home. Well, for the complicated cases, it will be sent to the top level epidemic prevention center for remote diagnosis and a consultant. And for this case, it will take about two hours to get the report. And uh, when the report is finished, it will send back to the clinic doctor to help them make the decision about the isolation or treatment of the patient, finally. Okay, here is the overall structure of our network information system. Uh, as shown in the bottom line, the patient will get scanned in the local makeshift hospital, and then the imaging will be sent through the wireless network to the local hospital for remote diagnosis or consultation. Uh, we call this system COVID-19 Cloud Service Platform. And uh, all the system is based on the wireless network. Let's watch a small video about the electricity and jump And Professor Lei Chiao introduced the workflow of the temporary CT and the In the last part, we will talk about CT infection prevention and control. Uh, for CT infection prevention and control, we will consider the following part. First is for medical staff, and then is for equipment and environment. And uh, also, we need to consider about the patient. And finally, Remote network configuration is also play an important role for infection prevention and control. The prevention and control measures of medical staff will be different depend on the kind of job they are doing. For those who work in the contaminated areas, they will get training first, and they should be proficient in the proper use of the personal protective equipment. For example, there are different kinds of masks, and uh, the medical staff should be familiar with the different working conditions of this mask. And they, will, uh, they should be familiar with the specification of this different mask, such as the disposable medical mask and this magical surgical mask, which is mainly for droplet isolation, and uh, they will know the standard of N95. And they should also know the correct steps for wearing face mask and the take off face mask, as shown in the picture. 
And here is several improper wearing of face mask. Hand hygiene is also an important measure for infection prevention and control. The medical staff should be proficient in the working conditions that they should do hand hygiene and they should be familiar with the steps of hand hygiene and they should do it more than 15 seconds each time. And the medical staff should also be familiar with the disinfection facilities and the measures. And for radiologists, it's recommended to work through the remote network. And uh, for situations that they need to enter the contaminated area, second level protection is required. For technologists, they are in the front line giving examination to the patients. So there should be at least second level protection. Here is the experience we like to share about the technologist who works in the makeshift hospital. First, since the strict protection is required during work, it is recommend a night diet and make for psychological and physical preparation before work. Second, do not have meal during work. And third, reduce unnecessary contact with patients and prefer to use the intercall system to communicate with the patient in the operation room. The patient and the companions need to wear disposable surgical mask during the examination. And under the premise of ensuring the safety of the patient, we can let the patient go to the examination table by themselves and control the table in the operation room by the remote control system. And after scan, we should review the imaging quickly and uh, guide the patient to live through the patient channel and replace the disposable sheets after each examination. Equipment and environmental prevention control. Perform disinfection of the equipment in the time intervals Perform disinfection immediately when it is contaminated. For the ground, when there is visible contaminants, such as vomit, use disposable absorbent materials to completely remove the contaminants before disinfection and use proper disinfection solutions twice or more per day or disinfected at any time in case of pollution. When during the examination of COVID-19 patients, the air condition should be turned off. For patients, they should have a dedicated access channel, which is separated from the medical staff. And the patient should wear the mask during the whole process of examination. And the last part is about the remote network configuration. In view of the high infectivity of COVID-19, we think that we should reduce the number of medical staff working in the makeshift hospital city room to reduce prevention requirements as well as infection risk. In the Zhanghai makeshift hospital city room, we set up a wireless network system, which is based on 5G network. So use these 5G signals, we can transfer the image data of patients to the Wuhan Union Hospital Radiology Department. The doctor here remotely review and diagnosis the patient's image. And uh, this solution is proved to be simple and feasible. The data transmission is timely and efficient, which can meet the examination requirements. In summary, 
During the battle against this emergency public health care event, the outbreak of COVID-19 in Wuhan, building a makeshift hospital is an important measure. The whole workflow of the city examination is a key part of epidemic prevention and control. In order to prevent cross-infection in makeshift hospital, each step of the city examination workflow must meet the infection control requirements. Make full use of the characteristics of the city room in the makeshift hospital, reuniting compartment operation so that the medical personnel can maintain a safe distance from patients. Besides, by improving the layout configuration and optimizing the examination process, strengthening disinfection measures, proper isolation management can effectively avoid the risk of cross-infection. And this is the experience we'd like to share today. Thank you for your time. Okay, thanks to Professor Li Zichao and Nian Zhuang. We know makeshift hospital played an important role in fight against COVID-19. In here, I would like to express my best regards to all the medical image technologists. You are heroes. And now it's the closing remark time. Here, it's great honor for me to enjoy the courses. Thanks to Professor Fu Haihong, President of CSIT, Yadin David, former Chairman of the International Federation of Medical and Biological Engineering, Clinical Engineering Division. Thanks for Professor Li Zhenlin, the President-elect of CSIT, shared a lot of valuable experience in radiation protection and infection control of mobile DR during COVID-19 epidemic. Dr. Wang Saofang, Professor Li Zichao, and Nie Zhuang from Tongji Medical University. Thanks for all the speakers. They shared their experience. The application of CT explained in detail. Thanks for all the speakers. You are here. Let's share the courses and share it with the world. Thanks for your listening. Thanks for the organizer, the journal of China Medical Device. Thanks for the co-sponsor CSIT and International Union of Clinical Engineers. Also thanks to supporting United Image Healthcare. See you next time. We fight the COVID-19 together. We are family.